welcome to another tutorial from me, Mike Thomas, the Excel trainer. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can convert dates that are stored as text entries into real dates. Now, why you would want to do that? Well, you often want to sort a list of dates or you want to do calculations on dates. And what do I mean by dates that are stored as text? Well, look at column A and they appear to be dates, but actually they're not. And if I select those cells and go over to sort and filter, you can see it says sort A to Z and Z to A. Whereas if they were real dates, it would say sort newest to oldest and oldest to newest. Another way that we can tell is to select one of the dates and go over to the formatting drop down. And if I change it to number, I would expect it to change it to display the number associated with the 31st of January 2014. And if I was to change it to a long date, I would expect it to display 31 January 2014. And that's not changing. So that tells me that those cells are actually text entries. Now, how did they become text entries? Well, in this example, I've had to cheat. And I've done that by manually typing an apostrophe at the beginning of each entry to force what would have otherwise been a date to be a text entry. But let's imagine that they've been downloaded from a company's HR system. Maybe they represent the dates that the employees are going to get paid. Now, there are several ways that I can convert uh, text-based dates into real dates. One involves a long complicated formula, so I'm not going to show you that method. I'm going to keep it simple. So let's select all the cells, A1 to A12, go over to the data tab and choose text to columns. Now I'm using Excel 2013 here, but this works in all versions of Excel, including the Mac version. Click on text to columns and that fires up the wizard. Leave the file type set to delimited and click next. Now the delimiters are listed there. The default is tab, but in this case, we actually want to take the ticks out of all the delimiters and click next. We then need to tell it that the data is to be treated as a date. So select date. And I'm going to leave it as DMY. There are actually a number of different formats you can choose, but I have found in my experience that leaving it as DMY or MDY, so day, month, year or month, day, year works best. For the destination, you would probably leave it set to the starting cell of the original block, so A1. So what it will do is it will just overwrite the data in A1 to A12 with real dates. But for this demo, I want to compare the original data with the new data. So I'm going to choose B1. I don't have to choose B1 to B12. It'll start in B1 and just go down as many cells as it needs to. So finally, click on finish. And you can see now we have real dates. Now, how do we know they're real dates? Well, if I select them and go back to the home tab, and go to sort and filter, you can now see it says sort oldest to newest, newest to oldest. Also, I can change the format to long date. I have to widen the column there. So you can see now that that does make a difference. They're being treated as real dates. The original dates in column A were day, month, year, but I want to display these as month, day, year with dashes. So exactly the same format. Go to the format drop down and choose more number formats. It's slightly different in the different versions of Excel. Go to a custom format and in that box there, type in the format you want. So month dash day dash year and click on OK. And now we have our dates and we have them formatted in the way we want. So I hope that's been useful. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like more Excel training, please visit my website, theexceltrainer.co.uk.